Hello. Yes, it is snowing outside again. <laughs> the plan on this channel right now is to make, let's clean the mess, is to make a basic witch casual capsule wardrobe for spring. So while it's snowing outside, we need to do some work. I mean, I need to, I need to do some work. I've seen the comments on the previous video and there are like three to five of you that are actually excited for this series. And I still cannot believe it because when I started YouTube, I thought I would be so happy if my mom plus two strangers watch these videos. And now there's 3000 of you and I don't know how this happened. <laughs> But it's about 2,996 more of you than I expected to be here. And I thought, since there are so many of you here, I should put you to work today. Today, you and me, we're gonna work. Teamwork. Because I need your help, okay? I've seen the comments. You guys gave really good advice. So this will be your job today, being a consultant slash unpaid advisor. But I am the unpaid seamstress, so... Same, same. Before I employ you as the unpaid uh, advisor and consultant to this channel, I was supposed to let you know which fabric won the vote. But Pinky came home really hurt just as I was about to do a reveal and all that good stuff and completely forgot to let you know that the light beige fabric won by popular vote. So I'll be doing the light, light beige pants very soon. Uh, there was a lot of you in the comments suggesting that I dyed the fabric. <laughs> I dyed the fabric uh, once in my life and uh, it was a bright orange, uh, probably shouldn't say disaster, but it wasn't that far from it. It was a, yeah, it was a thing. So light beige for spring and summer it is. You guys were right that the light beige goes really well with the light pink, lilac, the pistachio green. It's just like the base of ice cream and then we can put whatever flavors we want to it because it's not gonna clash. I love it. And the darker brown color, which I really love, and many of you did also, is a more autumnal fabric color. And you guys are genius. I don't know why haven't I thought about it. After spring, we have two weeks of summer in Norway, and then we have autumn. So we can do an autumn capsule wardrobe and use that fabric color then. So back to today's video. I have a problem. You need to help me solve it, okay? Okay. The problem is that when planning the, cas the casual, when planning the casual capsule wardrobe, I knew exactly what I wanted. I knew exactly what pieces I needed. But then, when it comes to picking the patterns, I want to make them all. But as uh, previously mentioned, I am unpaid seamstress YouTuber, so we have only this many free days in a week. So. You need to help me focus and stay on track. Today, your job will be helping me pick which patterns are we gonna use for which pieces. You see all of these. This one needs to be watered. All of these. I want to make them. I want to make them. I want to make all of them. Today will be the picking day. And in the comments, please let me know this like for example, shirt, this pattern, overalls, this pattern. And hopefully that will help me narrow things down and focus my efforts so that we get this whole group on time. Okay, question number one, the overalls. I'm still considering if I should buy more like 1940s overalls because these are 70s. I am kind of getting into 70s and I really like the look of these. So this was my initial idea for overalls, but these are also really, 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 really cute. And let me show you the drawing of the back. I am torn. Plus these ones also have a shirt that I could, uh, that I could sew. So option number one, option number two, oh uh, wait, option number two. And the look of the back is like that. So these are a little bit more 70s. Let me know in the comments if I should sew one of these or if I should get this typical 1940s uh, worker girl style overalls. Circle skirt. I really want to have two circle skirts. Um, this one is my size and it has nice big big pockets. This is a kind of a capsule wardrobe pattern itself and I could consider it also for digitizing for my store because it seems really fun it's a circle skirt pencil skirt 
and a mystery thing that I don't know what is it called. So this is a perfect capsule wardrobe pattern, but this is a wraparound skirt that seems to be reversible. Simple to make wonder wrap skirt reversible and as changeable as your mood. What the f you just said? I'm on my period, so I'm kind of drawn to the skirt that's as changeable as my mood. But it might be my hormones speaking, so please let me know which one should I go with. The skirt that's as changeable as my mood seems to be a good option, because I could make one side black and one side brown, and just ta -da, have two skirts in one. I also found this old pattern, which I don't really want to make, because this lady, she's haunted. She's a demon. Just look at her eyes. Now, another question is waistcoats. I found two patterns in my stash that are ready to go. Two patterns. Ugh. This is more 1950s, this is 1940s, I would guess. This is more detailed, plus it comes with a, with a dress that I could also whip up at some point. But I like this one too. I don't like the round neckline as much as I like the triangle neckline. I like this shape more than I like this. I'm not quite sure why, but do let me know in the comments which one do you think make a nicer waistcoat. Now we're coming to a sort of a final question of both the pencil skirt and the shirt. Because initially I thought I'm going to use this pattern because again it's a it's a perfect capsule wardrobe pattern for both a shirt and a pencil skirt. Also, how cute is it to make the pencil skirt and shirt in the same color so it kind of looks like a dress? I love it. So this is the option number one, which would be probably really fun since it's one and the same pattern. But also I have this shirt that I think is really, really cute. And also I want to make one with really, really dramatic sleeves, but I'm trying to calm myself down and make the old, boring, <laughs> everyday shirt. This is the option number two for shirts. But I also have two really cute patterns for pencil skirts. And let me be honest, it's getting harder and harder to decide. Option number one, I don't think I would like one that's uh, open on the front, but the one with the little taps on the side or complete side opening here, really, really cute. And look at this one, it has bows and kind of open darts. I don't know if that would look nice on me, but uh, I kind of would love to find out. <laughs> this is the pattern number. It has really cute bows. Or should I just combine it? Like take this pattern, take this skirt and just add a little detachable bow just because like, how cute is this? It's super cute. So this is the dilemma of the week. Please vote in the comments on the pattern for Overalls, waistcoat, circle skirt, skirt. I don't know why I say it like this, but I cannot say it in any other way. <laughs> so this is our task for this week. I'm sorry that there is very there is no sewing, but um, I literally have only one day off. So since I'm not a full time YouTuber and those weeks will happen from time to time where I genuinely don't have time to sew. I mean, YouTube... Ugh, I'm gonna get a crink in my neck. <laughs> YouTube is pushing the idea of memberships on me, but I genuinely think that it's way too early for my channel to be creating memberships. But if I were to create a membership someday, I would genuinely love a membership where we get to know each other a little bit better and where you get to be more involved in creative process with me. But we are still pretty casual bunch, so hopefully we can we can still do the same thing in the comments section. At least for now, when I'm still able to read every single comment of yours. So I will know what each and every one of you thinks of the pattern choices available. <laughs> oh, and I almost forgot, I almost forgot. I also need your advice on the pattern for blazer. Let's go back here to my dirty desk. Initially, I thought of this pattern. You can probably even recognize it from the illustrations I made because I literally just copied this <laughs> illustration. But then I found this in my stash. How am I supposed to choose? Look at this gorgeousness. This gorgeousness. I mean, this in brown tweed. Oh, but this is also really cute. 
and it also has pencil skirt and this one also has a pencil skirt so maybe i should just make pencil skirts from these patterns <gasps> oh. I don't know. Simplicity pattern or a, or a Vogue pattern. I think they're both so gorgeous in their own ways. And uh, I am struggling to pick one. So please vote in the comments. While rummaging through my stash, I found even more patterns that I want to make for spring. Like this one, pedal pushers or whatever you call them with a the little top. Perfect capsule wardrobe pattern. And I want it. I also realized I have those really fun house coats and I just keep imagining myself just throwing on like this morning coat, house coat and going out to pick radishes in the spring on my balcony. And how cute is this one? Look at this lady! How comfy does she look in her house coat? Also I love the yoke around the, around the arms. And look at them bitching about their friends. They look like such mean girls. But she's chilling. She's having a good time because she does not bitch around about her friends behind her back. Should I add these to the queue of what I'm gonna make? Because this looks so comfortable. Plus, I do hardly ever leave my house. So having like a really comfortable house coat in a very fancy fabric would be a treat, wouldn't it? Plus, I love the pattern on on the illustration. And if I were to make one of these, I would definitely try to make something similar with like. A really bold floral fabric. This is the dilemma for today and all of these ones are dilemmas for tomorrow because they are all gorgeous and I want to make them all. Before I go, a little update. Pinky is back to his normal self. <laughs> he is playing, he's walking, he's jumping. He seems to be all right. So luckily the injury Sarah? the injury looked worse than it was. And thank you so much for all your wishes for Pinky. And thank you so much for sending your loves. I definitely gave him all the extra pets from you. And who knows, maybe it helped because he got better really, really fast. And also I must say, I really enjoy reading your comments and reading all your stories, especially about you know your sewing adventures and the stories of your cats. Shout out to Sabrina and Pepper. <laughs> I love their names. And not cats, but also shout out to Wolfgang, who looks like a really distinguished gentleman. And to all the rest of you who have left really amazing comments that make me laugh, make me smile. I really love reading all of them. I just wanted to say that. <laughs> So that's it for today's video. I hope it wasn't too boring. I know it's uh, slightly different than what we usually do over here because we make things. Today we didn't make anything and I'm really sorry about that. According to YouTube, it's really important to keep a schedule and uh, I only had one day to make this video. So sewing actual things definitely takes way more time than this. But I hope despite not seeing any garments, I hope you enjoyed it and I'm really genuinely looking forward to your advice on which pattern should I pick going forward because next week I have a surprise coming for you and then the week after it I'm gonna sew whatever you make me sew <laughs> so go ahead make me <laughs> I'm really enjoying our interactions in the comment sections because I feel like you are a part of making this channel right now I'm just really happy that you guys get to be a part of what I'm making over here alone in my room but I feel less alone because you guys are kind of here in a non-creepy, non-stucky way. <laughs> How often does that happen? It's awesome. So thank you for being here and thank you for watching. Oh, and before you go, do the YouTube things. Do the likey, subscribey, the commenty things. You know, do all the things that you can do it on YouTube. And thank you for watching. Bye. We need to put this baby back on track because I want to make about 50 more pieces in this capsule wardrobe. And by the time I'm done, it won't be a capsule. It will be a rocket ship of a wardrobe. <laughs>